Hello everybody, this is Matthew Burgraff, MB Frigate. Um, today is January 31st, 2018, um, and it is a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, today at work, uh, as you know, I have actually... Um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I actually put in my two weeks notice to quit um, and whatever, and uh, my the the new quote unquote new job that I want uh, or that I'm hoping to get into they haven't called me back yet or contacted me yet but um, I hope that um, I'm I'm just, I have no doubt that they're gonna accept me back they just haven't you know contacted me again um, so they basically said that if uh, whether they contact me or not, at least by the time that my week is up, so that'll be next Friday, that, um, that my two-week period will be up, um, to come back to them and, uh, basically, hopefully I can be able to start working again. But anyway, that's really exciting because today at work, um, I was on serving instead of the dishwasher this time, and... It just felt amazing. Now, I could not have done it without one of my coworkers, who she is just really fun to uh, just kind of like. She gets it. She understands, and she she pulls double duty um, when it comes to uh, helping me with some of my responsibilities, which is really helpful. And I am trying to do my best, and she understands that I am trying to do my best and a lot of the other people. And yesterday, during the di when I was at the dishwasher, I was just so, like, focused and whatever, and, you know, some of my coworkers tried to get me to, to stop and eat or something. I just couldn't, because if I did, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I, I would get backed up, and things wouldn't run the way that, um, that, that everything needs to. So I didn't do that, and, um, as a, as I was at the sink at one point, uh, my coworkers came in and they're like, "Good job, good job." I'm like, "Thank you, I'm trying." And she and and they they kept saying, "It shows. You're doing amazing. You're a hard worker, and it shows. We understand. If you get backed up, we know you're trying." Like, oh my goodness, someone actually understands. Someone gets exactly who I am and how hard. I try to do my best at every job and every task that I'm giving, given in any type of employment that I, I receive. Now, today was so amazing because it was just like, eventually, I had nothing to do. Like, let's say, let's say about an hour and a half after I started working, like, I literally got everything done like, everything was done, complete, and I just didn't know what to do, and it was really, but it was really good, um, because we've, I mean, I found, of course, something to do, uh, was just cutting pies and stuff, uh, and I tried my hardest, and I, I communicated better with my, um, my manager, the cook, uh, and, you know, he's a rough person, and I'm starting to see something changed in him, uh, after this week started, something changed in him, uh, where when I talk to him, he's calmer, he's less harsh on me, and he, he seems to want to communicate now. He communicates better. And that's, that's what I like, and that's what I need. I need to be able to, to know that I'm being heard, understood, and feel cared for, cared about enough that I can get the feedback appropriately that I need so that I can get the job done um, better. And if I'm getting, like, harsh tones and things, it doesn't help me. It, it just makes me feel like a terrible person and like a terrible employee, like a terrible worker that, you know, nothing gets done when it's in my hands. Like, I might as well not be working here at all. But if there's nice tones, calm tones, calm attitudes, good attitudes, and good communication, 
things things work out. Things go better, smoother. It actually makes me want to work harder because I know I'm being appreciated because like to me I I get the paycheck, but that doesn't really tell me how good a job I'm doing because you know, you can be paid really well and not being not not be doing super well, but it won't determine whether you're fired or not. Or you can be getting really bad pay and be getting a good attitude and good responses and interactions with people. And it's just like, yeah, the paycheck doesn't really tell me anything. But appreciation, expressions of appreciation and words of affirmation really, really help me a lot um, to know now, I don't know how to um, react appropriately to, okay, not, I don't mean, like, inappropriate, but, like, just, I don't know how to react. I don't know how to react when I'm given those things, but just know that, okay, it, it's, this is how it kind of is in my mind. It's like, oh, okay, so he just, they just expressed thanks and gratitude or expressed appreciation to me. So, okay, that means I'm doing a good job and I I can do, uh, the, I'm doing the best I can and they can see that and I just need to keep going and if I can, push a little harder and I can do a lot better. That's how it is in my mind, how it looks in my mind um, when I get uh, the feedback positively. Um, even if it's a, like, you know, when I'm confronted with, oh, you did something wrong, but if it's a positive, um, response and everything, like, if it's positive, um, presentation, then I can, I can handle that. If it's negative, it's just like, ugh, there you go again, telling me how terrible of an employee I am. But, um, today was amazing, and it was just really good. Uh, for me to hear all the things, and I, I, I've been learning, um, and I don't know, like, I, I'm serving, I practically know everything I need to do, how to do it, and I always, I'm just rushing, trying to get it, uh, get these things done, so I'm so glad, uh, for today, so happy that, you know, how successful and how, how wonderfully good it was, Thank you so much to my coworker who helped me so much today um, with this um, with uh, with work today. Um, it was uh, very fun in the end and very awesome. Now, here's what I've been really, really, really wanting to get to um, for today. Um, I want to show you. Uh, some of you have seen on Instagram uh, some of the picture or the uh, picture that I uh, the most recent picture that I did uh, for my stationary card um, stuff and I've gotten a lot of pe positive amazing feedback that I just didn't know I didn't really think that this one would be as successful as it is or as it was at least reaction wise um, and I'm hoping that uh, I can make a third one that is equally or better than this um, and um, that it can be worthy of being on a stationary card because this is truly amazing. So here it is. So I call this, now I don't know if you can see it too well, it's better in person. The camera makes it look super, 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 super red, but it isn't as red as you think. But this is a flower. Um, it, I call it the repentance flower because it, uh, represents the, uh, uh, the black edges, um, represent the, um, like the, the wilted and dead part of, like, what a, a flower would look like if it was dead. Um, it represents, uh, sin and just all things bad and whatever. Um, and then the red actually represents the... Um, making things right, um, and the, the decision 
to to do what's um, right to to fix prob the problem of whatever you did whatever whatever happened um, and to make it better uh, and then after you do that the white um, in the center represents um, you know because this is how like the flower is growing if you can imagine uh, like a time lapse or something as like the flower is all wilted and dried and, and black and whatever and as the flower grows it turns red and then into white is when everything is good everything is back to normal everything is perfect and okay and uh, you've let's just say maybe you did something wrong towards somebody and you know they forgave you and you made the right you made the wrong right and everything so th that's what this whole flower represents um, I could probably see this one being more of a kind of uh, get well kind of a card um, for a, a picture uh, but you know you can do whatever you want with it um, it is a good uh, starter I guess for now it's a good starter for a spring kind of uh, uh, a picture uh, for a card uh, a greeting card or something like that um, but anyway like I just hope that you guys really um, enjoy these pictures a lot uh, and that you know if you really would like to have a card like let me know um, I really want to uh, I think this week has been is is kind of a harder week for me to finally put everything on a stationary card officially but uh, eventually I think next week is when we're gonna start um, putting these pictures on a card um, because uh, I have that fall one which I think mom doesn't think so but I think it can sell it can even sell now and in fact I just remembered as I was on my way home I was like I need to look up Etsy so I'm gonna look up Etsy and I can also put these things on uh, my on Facebook market um, I'm gonna try and and uh, look these things up and figure out how to do these things and I'm gonna put these up on Etsy and I'll let you know later on um, if everything works out I'm gonna I'll let you know what's going on with all of that and so I yeah I just hope that uh, today will be really amazing. I'm going to I'm going to start drawing again uh today. I had a few amazing ideas pop up into my mind or of concepts of how uh the kind of image that I want or the feeling I want when you see the picture um and I kind of want to do it on a bigger sketchbook because I have I have this big one right here um, and it's uh, I don't know if the copy center can uh, actually hold it but um, let's see so like I don't know if they can copy this because I, I did notice they did shrink my fall one they shrunk it uh, to make it fit on the card, to make it a, a good, appropriate size. But I don't know if they could um, make one of these bigger ones and shrink it and put it on a card because it's so big. I know that there was one place where they wouldn't, um, they're like, we can't copy this this big. But they, they kind of shrunk it a little bit and that was... I was okay because it was good it was decent um I didn't uh I only I didn't I can't find it anymore but I didn't put that on a station card that was like years ago and so but yeah um also let's see so this one like see how big this is like especially compared to this like um this was a picture I did for my one of my younger my youngest sister um just uh I could have done a lot better on this uh, but you got the um I actually I, I didn't know that she liked ladybugs but I drew a ladybug um except I noticed I forgot to do the little antennas on the uh, on the head uh, to make it be a beetle or a, a ladybug 
but she sees it as a ladybug, so it's definitely a ladybug. But it's like a, a mushroom. Her first name starts with a J, so I have it in the shape of a J. If you can see that, where the um, this comes down and hooks up, and then this is the cross. Um, and uh, just coming out of the rock a little bit. Uh, th my skills have kind of improved. Like, I, I see how I could have done this so much differently. Um, but, because uh, I, I wanted the glow on the rock, but that didn't go exactly as planned. I think I tried to do more of a cartoony look, but anyway, that's like... I, I, the, uh, concept and the way I, some of the way that I did this, um, is actually exactly like, wow, like, I've always wanted to do something like that, but, uh, like the, to, to make it, you know, where it's all white, and then just lightly having, uh, some of the other colors to make it look light, um, you know, really bright, like, it, like it's glowing, and it kind of worked out, but at the same time, like, I could have done better. Uh, even my sister noticed, like, yeah, you did, that's amazing, but, I mean, I wish you had done, uh, I could tell that on, on, on my other sister's picture that you did a lot, you, like, you put in more work into that one than you did mine, but this is really beautiful, this is really cute. Like, that's basically what she said. Um, so I could have done a lot better with this. But, um, that's what I got so far, um, so my skills have improved since then. Um, uh, this one is not for sale, um, this one is specifically for her. I did the colors, I asked her for her favorite color, three of her favorite colors, and the colors that the mushroom is and the, uh, background and stuff, but those are all, or even the ladybug, I emphasized those colors, um, because I wanted it to be special for her to know that, you know, she, like, she's in there, because it's, those are her favorite colors, um, and what helped a lot was the fact that they, that I, I didn't know it, but I drew a ladybug for some reason, and eventually, when I showed it to her, she was like, oh, how'd you know ladybugs are my favorite? I'm like, I didn't. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, sorry for all this blabbing on and all this talk. Um, I'm going to get to drawing now, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and turn on those ring notifications, those bell notifications, to be the first one to be notified when I upload a new video, and I will see you in the next video. So, let's see if I can remember this. It's, uh, climb your mountains, achieve the dream. I will see you in the next video.